this lesson, we introduce area. Area is a two-dimensional measure. Area can be thought of as the amount of space within the boundaries of a two-dimensional shape. We measure area when we are trying to answer questions like how much carpet will it take to cover the floor, or how many ceiling tiles are needed to cover the ceiling. In order to measure area, we must compare our object to a known unit of area, and we determine how many units, including partial units, it would take to cover the object without gaps or overlaps. Some standard units of area are square inches. One square inch is a square that has one inch long sides. Square feet, one square foot is a square that has one foot long sides. And square centimeters, one square centimeter is a square that has one centimeter long sides. Once we decide on the unit area that we will use, we determine how many times larger our object's area is than the unit area is. More simply, we count how many of the units it takes to completely cover our object. And here are some common units used for area. Let's look at our first example. We're asked to create a shape that has an area of eight square inches. A square inch is shown for reference. Notice how one square inch is a square with sides one inch long. So because this is one square inch, and we need to create a shape that has an area of eight square inches, we need to form a shape using eight copies of this square inch. And we can arrange those eight squares any way that we wish. Here's just one example of a shape that has an area of eight square inches. Let's look at the dimensions of this rectangle. Notice how this length is four inches and this length is two inches. So a four inch by two inch rectangle has an area of eight square inches. There are formulas that help us determine the area of geometric shapes. Notice for this rectangle, four inches times two inches is equal to eight inches squared. Four times two is equal to eight, and inches times inches does give us square inches or inches squared. This is a nice connection to make. We will talk more about area formulas in future lessons. In the next question, we're asked to find the area of the figure in square inches. So we're given the unit of area here, where this one square has an area of one square inch. And therefore, to find the area, we count the number of square inches in the figure, or in this case, in the rectangle. We'll notice how we have four, eight, 12 squares where each square is equal to one square inch, and therefore the area is equal to 12 square inches. Looking at the dimensions of the rectangle, notice how this side has a length of four inches, this side has a length of three inches. A four inch by three inch rectangle has an area of 12 square inches, and also notice how four inches times three inches is equal to 12 inches squared because four times three is equal to 12 and inches times inches is equal to square inches or inches squared. Now for our last example, we're asked to find the area of the figure using square centimeters. Notice how we're given one square centimeter here. So to determine the area of this figure, we count the number of square centimeters in the figure. Looking at the rows, we have four square centimeters, five square centimeters, and six square centimeters. And therefore, the total area is equal to four square centimeters plus five square centimeters plus six square centimeters. And therefore, the area is equal to 15 square centimeters. I hope you found this helpful.